Welcome to the Mastering Python video course. In this video course, we're going to start with the fundamentals and then work our way up to talk about more powerful and advanced techniques of Python programming. I am Daniel Arbuckle, and I'll be your presenter for this course. I began using Python approximately 20 years ago, and have used it ever since for both research and professional work. This first video is a quick sneak peek of the course as a whole, where we'll discuss the topics that we will be covering throughout the course. In the first section, we'll look at how to get started with Python. We'll first walk through downloading and installing the Python interpreter and standard library. Then we'll take a look at the Python interactive shell and running Python programs from the command line. Next, we'll take a look at pip, Python's tool for installing third-party libraries, and see how to find those third-party libraries using the Python package index. In section two, we'll talk through creating an empty Python code package, and then extend that by adding code modules to the package. We'll then take a short detour to talk about how to import package modules into each other, and see how to add data files to the package. In section three, we'll talk about best practices for Python programmers. These are things that you don't have to do, but the weight of experience says that they're good ideas. Here, we'll talk about Python's widely accepted code formatting standard, we'll see about using version control, virtual environments for developing code, and how to format inline documentation and integrate that documentation with testing. In section four, we'll put the theory on the back burner and cover the practicalities of creating a command line program. Here, we'll talk about turning a package into a program, handling command line arguments, interacting with a program's user, how to start other programs from within our Python code, and finally, how to start our program from a graphical user interface. In section five, we move on to more advanced topics. We're going to take a look at how to run our code across multiple CPUs or CPU cores. We'll examine the concurrent.futures package in the Python standard library, which provides a simplified high-level interface for launching and working with background worker processes. And then we'll look at the multiprocessing package, which provides a lower-level interface to multiprocess programming. In section six, we're talking about asynchronous I.O. and cooperative threading with coroutines. We'll explain the difference between cooperative multithreading and multiprocess programming, then look at Python's built-in async I.O. package, async I.O.'s feature class specifically, how to force synchronization back into existence in those places where it's really needed, and finally, we'll look at using the tools we've covered to, in the prior videos to communicate across the network. In section seven, we'll look at several ways in which Python code can rewrite or change the meaning of other Python code. We'll look at function decorators, function annotations, class decorators, meta classes, context managers, and descriptors. We'll wrap up with section eight, in which we'll be looking at how to construct a suite of unit tests for our software. We'll talk about the principles of unit testing using Python's built-in unit test package and using unit tests mock module to help control our test environment. Then we'll talk about unit tests test discovery tool and wrap up with a discussion of NOS, a third party tool that adds a range of useful testing utilities. The videos in this course are organized more or less in order from fundamental to complex. They're not tightly bound to that order, though, so feel free to skip around if you wish. This course is divided into two major parts. For the first several sections, there's nothing you need except an interest in the topic. We'll cover basics that will help you get started. The later sections are more advanced. At a minimum, you should be comfortable with the content of the basic sections before tackling the advanced ones. And even so, practice and experience with Python will be helpful. Join me in the next video where we'll be downloading and installing Python.